Hello everyone, today I'm making this video to show you how to start the game Grand Theft Auto 4 through Steam on a PC. Um, as I know, the most common and critical problems you always get when you start the game right after you download it is you, when you enter your credential and press play, nothing happened. It, the, login board just disappear right also there is um, another problem you might get is that xlift.dll is not found on gta4 just not respond when you start the game okay so now i'm going to show you how to fix all of those problems so first you need to go to control panel and go to uninstall program then you need to find the program name here microsoft games for windows leaf distributable and microsoft games for windows marketplace you need to uninstall these two before continuing if you have them if you don't have them uh, don't uh, care about this much Okay, after you uninstall those two, you need to go to this website. I will put the link in the description. After you, after you go to this website, download the games for Windows Marketplace client. This may sound really idiot because you will recognize that you just download the program you uninstall. So, but uh, listen to me, this worked perfectly fine for me. So I, I hope it does for you too. So after you download it, install it, you will see this one pop up. And so you will sign in with your Windows account, which is also your Windows Leaf ID. Sign in. And when you sign in, just leave it be and do not touch it. Do not close it either. And after that, you will be able to start the game Grand Theft Auto 4 to Steam on a PC no more late. Also, there's a problem I want to point out is that the CD key here, well, the CD key here, it is not meant to be entered on this website of uh, Microsoft. It is not meant to be entered here, but uh, it is actually to be entered in the game. Okay, so let me show you what does that mean. Okay, if this pop up just mean it in that, that it works, it works fine. So when you get to here, everything is just normal. Okay, if this if you see this it means that uh, things work okay and then you will see this one come down and you will be prompt to enter with your Microsoft account again and that after you enter you will be prompt to actually enter your, the CD key you receive after you enter your CD key everything will work fine Oh, okay here it, so as you see here I'm locked in I entered my uh, CD key and uh, after that uh, you're totally fine just play the game and okay so when you press play and press start this is the point where you actually after this loading screen it is the point where you actually get the notification that GTA 4 is not responding and uh, the, uh, the and Windows will close the program. But if you follow 
my uh, instruction closely you will see that we got to a frame we play normally nothing happened okay. run around enter cheat code like normal see everything works fine uh, and so that's it I hope uh, I hope that everyone uh, got their game work normally and uh, have fun playing peace